from Shenandoah, from Page County, from KMA Land. This is KMA News Headlines. Good afternoon. I'm Mike Peterson with the latest from the KMA Newsroom on this Friday afternoon. Council Bluffs authorities are asking for the public's health in locating a woman who's been missing for several months. Council Bluffs police posted on social media yesterday that they're looking for 33-year-old Hope Marie Calcus, who was last seen in the Omaha Council Bluffs area. Authorities say Calcus has not contacted her family in several months, adding their concern for her safety. Calcus is a white female, 5'3", with brown hair and hazel-colored eyes. Anyone with information about her whereabouts is urged to contact Council Bluffs Police's investigative unit at 712-328-4728. Pottawatomie County officials are beginning to develop ways to ensure long-term recovery and rebuilding efforts in Minden. Earlier this week, the Pottawatomie County Board of Supervisors heard a report from the Advanced Southwest Iowa Corporation, which included the ongoing recovery efforts in Minden. During the April 26 severe weather outbreak, an EF-3 tornado struck the rural Pottawatomie County town, killing one individual and injuring three others. Nearly 200 properties were damaged, 65 of which were destroyed. Charlotte Mora Mazetis is the rural development manager for the uh, Advanced Southwest Iowa Corporation. Over the past several months, Mazetis says that everyone has come through for Minden in wonderful and miraculous ways. Construction is complete on a lasting memorial to a late Shenandoah School District student. Dedication ceremonies take place August 23rd at 5 p.m. at Shenandoah Medical Center for the Kinsey Lane Rooker Memorial Trail. SMC officials built the trail to remember Kinsey, a 14-year-old Shenandoah High School freshman-to-be, who died in a June 2016 after being struck by a vehicle while attempting to cross Highway 2 during cross-country practice. SMC Marketing Director Brian Spiegel described the project in a recent interview on KMA's Morning Show. A lot of people have probably seen some construction, development of a walking path, kind of along Anacros there, and then goes throughout the Shenandoah Medical Center campus. Well, we're actually going to be doing a dedication of that path to the family of Kinsey Rooker. Now, the actual ceremonies begin at 5.15 that day. Free hot dogs and water will be served. Nebraska City school officials are coping with a new world in hiring and retaining instructors. As the 2024-25 school year begins, Nebraska City Public Schools report new personnel in 19 positions. Of those, 14 are new teachers. Nebraska City School Superintendent Mark Fritz says the district worked hard to recruit applicants for open positions. He says some of the new instructors are no stranger to the community. In these times, he says the best recruiting method for luring new personnel is internal word of mouth. KMA on track weather. A bit cooler today, partly sunny, highs only in the low 70s. North to northwest winds at 5 to 15, gusts as high as 15. Partly cloudy tomorrow, low of around 50. Mostly sunny on Saturday, highs in the upper 70s. More news at 5.05 and 6.05 this evening. Don't forget this week in KMA land tomorrow morning at 8.30 on KMA. For KMA News, I'm Mike Peterson. So long, my friend.